so hello students welcome to my channel physics by dr farnia and as we have already started with the unit 1 which is a settled force field from the classical mechanics so in this unit we have uh, seen the basic concept of the central force field uh, we know that the force which is uh, dependent only on a distance between the center of the potential and the incoming particle and which is independent on the direction so that type of a force is called as a central force field then we have seen the Lagrangian formulation of the central force field then we have seen what are the Kepler's laws and we have also seen how the particle behaves when it enters into the central force field so depending on the kinetic energy of the incident particle and also depending on the potential of the central force field the nature of the particle in the uh, central force field is decided it means that uh, whenever the particle is entering inside the central force field it always follows a uh, or some curve or path okay whether it can follow uh, elliptical orbit hyperbolic orbit or a parabolic orbit or the uh, circular path okay so the path of that uh, particle entering into the central force field that is decided by the kinetic energy of the incident particle and the potential of the central force field so we have seen the proofs of uh, uh, all these equations so the next point in the central force field is a scattering experiment, Rudolf's force scattering experiment. See scattering has a lot of applications. Uh, for example, if you want to study the interaction between a proton or a neutron inside the nucleus, okay, that can be studied with the help of the scattering. Or suppose if you want to study uh, what kind of force is there between any two particles, okay, so that can be studied by using this uh, scattering experiment. Okay, so scattering is basically of uh, two types. Uh, uh, it is called as the first is a elastic scattering and inelastic scattering. Now, why we are studying this as scattering in the central force field under the title of the central force field? See here. So the central force field means the force which is dependent only on the distance and not on the direction. So the direction independent force is called as a central force field. So the scattering is also experiment which is independent on the direction okay with, uh, so of the interaction between the two particles uh, is can be said to be a central force field or the scattering uh, is an example of the uh, motion of the particle in a central force field okay so the scattering uh, there are two types uh, as I said first one is the elastic scattering and in elastic scattering let me write it here in elastic scattering law of conservation of the linear momentum and law of conservation of the energy are over whereas in, in elastic scattering law of conservation of the linear momentum is over but the law of conservation of the energy it is not satisfied so let us see what are these laws of conservation of the linear momentum so let uh, if the p1 is a momentum so of the projectile particle and p2 be the momentum of the target particle so law of conservation uh, tells us that so momentum of the uh, incident particle before the collision that must be equal to the momentum after the collision okay so the momentum of the two particles before the collision b so this is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to so this will be momentum before collision and after the collision so it will be m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this law of conservation of the linear momentum it is over by both elastic and inelastic scattering. Law of conservation of the energy is obeyed only by the elastic scattering and not in the case of the inelastic scattering. So let us see 1 half m1 u1 square plus 1 half m2 u2 square. So this is equal to 1 half m1 v1 square plus one half m2 v2 square see here 
so the kinetic energies of the projectile particle and target particle is exactly equal uh, before collision is exactly equal to the kinetic energy of the two particles after the collision so this is called as a law of conservation of the energy so law of conservation of energy is obeyed in a elastic scattering but it is not obeyed for the inelastic scattering in a inelastic scattering what happens the kinetic energy of the uh, particles before collision it is always greater than the kinetic energy of the particles after collision because some sort of energy is lost in a uh, say sound or preparing in a heat okay so some sort of uh, heat uh, some sort of uh, uh, energy is lost over there therefore kinetic energy of the incident particle uh, of the particles before the collision it is always greater than the uh, kinetic energy after uh, we are going to see in detail uh, the rutherford scattering so which is an example of the inelastic scattering in a central force field so in the next lecture we are going to see the rutherford scattering which is an example of the unbounded motion in a central force field thank you for watching